I have the pleasure of being joined by Texas A&M Corpus Christi's men's head basketball coach, Willis Wilson. Coach, thank you so much for joining me today. It's a pleasure to be with you. Thanks for having me. We've had quite a year here in 2020, and I know you and your team is probably extremely excited to get ready for the 2021 season. What are you most looking forward to and most excited about finally getting underway? Well, I think I'm just like the players. I am, I'm the most excited about getting on that court and playing games. We've had so much adversity, both in terms of just day-to-day -day existence, and then you, you throw in all the factors of really learning how to get back on the basketball court and doing all the protocols day in and day out. Um, I think everybody in our program feels very strongly that we've made a lot of sacrifices and uh, the, the reason why we're doing it is so that we can participate on game day. Looking at your guys' roster and the personnel you have for this year, you lost eight lettermen from last year, but returned three starters from last season. How are they stepping up and being leaders for some of those new guys who are there? Um, that's a that's a great question, and my typical response is probably going to be thrown out the window today, and I'm going to give you a little different response. The, the returning guys, they've done a fabulous job, but the new guys have done a better job of seeking out the advice of the new of the returners. They really have looked to them physically, mentally, uh, and and even emotionally to kind of to follow their lead and that's really been helpful for us uh, we have a lot of new guys that have come from winning programs and so we've also flipped that script where we've asked our returning guys these guys have come from winning programs some of these new guys let's find out what they think let's find out what how they've done things in the past so that we can sort of get the best of both worlds and it's it's so far turned out to be a good formula are there a couple individuals in particular who are, are new coming in who have kind of stood out thus far for you? There are. Um, the Lazarus Keys, uh, who came in from uh, Florida Southwestern, uh, has been a guy that just he, – he likes to be coached hard, and so he's kind of shown this toughness that's been able to uh, sort of infiltrate our, our team to some degree. Um, he has a steadiness about him. He's not the best athlete. He's not the best condition. He doesn't shoot at the best. He's not the best defender. But when you put him on the basketball court, he's very, very productive. Another guy that kind of falls into that category in a similar vein is uh, Rasheed Brown uh, from uh, Community College of Beaver County. He just gets it. He just knows the game. He knows uh, what I want as a coach. And part of that is just he's a great listener. And, and that has become an asset that he's been able to sort of share with the team. And then the last one I'll point out is one of his teammates, uh, Simeon Fryer. I think Simeon Fryer probably is a player in terms of talent uh, who is, is much better than our level. And we're really fortunate to have him here in our program. The big question is, can he become the, the Division One player to match his talent? How have you seen some of your returning starters like Miles and Jordan and, and Nolan, how have you seen them kind of mesh and gel with some of these newer guys? They, they've done a great job. They, they, they really have done a nice job. Um, during the COVID period over the summer, I think those guys went out of their way to uh, create some bonding app, uh, opportunities. I remember one, uh, one weekend, um, where they decided they were going to get together and do a cookout. And I'm not sure that I would trust any of those guys' culinary skills, but they said the food was great, the camaraderie was there, they did the social distancing, they wore the mask, and they did all the things. Nobody came away scathed. No, nobody came away sick. So it must have been a good event. But I do think it's one of those things where uh, they went out of the way to create an activity that would bring, bring guys together. And I think they've done that fairly consistently. I love it. That's so great. Uh, lastly, do you have any just goals that you have for the team this year with, you know, bringing in so many new people and the mixing of, of the personnel? Yeah. Um, I think you're asking that from a personnel standpoint and recruiting. And so uh, we, we finished the year last year as one of the top 20 uh, three point shooting teams by percentage in the country. I think we, I think we were probably 17th or 18th in the country we have all those guys back. They're, they're here in the fold. And so 
we really wanted to accent that and take advantage of that. So we try to recruit guys that not only could shoot the ball, but could also complement the shooting. So we, we really worked last keys as an example, got to go along with Perry Francois on the inside to really open up that outside. Uh, Sim Fryer and Kyrie Coates guys that can slash and get to the rim and use that their six, six frames to kind of bring a dimension that, that we don't have. Uh, but also, and, and this was a discussion that we just had in practice yesterday, I asked the guys if they noticed how differently I'm coaching them. And their response was yes. And so my retort was, then I expect you guys to, to respond to, to the way I'm coaching you differently as well. And that means we want to be more aggressive. We want to be more of a fast break team. We want to use our length and use our athleticism to – create opportunities uh, that we can take advantage of, not just for the beginning of the game or the middle, but also uh, for, the, for that second half and that last five minutes of every contest. 